John Mayer is going at his own pace. The 44-year-old reformed playboy lamented during a recent stop on his Saab Rock tour that people need to stop telling him to settle down and start a family. When are you gonna find someone? You don't want to have kids, do you? What the fk have I done in my life to communicate that I don't want to have kids? What are you talking about? He said to the crowd at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas on March 11th, as seen in a fan's Instagram video. Meyer, who has dated everyone from Jessica Simpson and Taylor Swift to Jennifer Aniston and Katy Perry, then joked that until he finds a life companion, he is perfectly content with his current bedroom situation. I'm doing fine because the left side of my bed is just a row of pillows. I sleep next to a row of pillows, he quipped. Sometimes I put my laptop on top of the row of pillows. Sometimes I sneak my phone in there. Sometimes I lose my remote in there. But what I mean is, that stack of pillows doesn't resent or hate me or bring me down. The Gravity singer made sure to clarify that he is not against finding love, telling fans it simply has not happened yet. I'm having a good time. I will meet somebody, he concluded. And when I do, it will be additive and awesome and great, but until then, I'm going to be just fine. He then launched into a performance of his aptly titled song Till the Right One Comes. Meyer made headlines countless times in the early 2010s during what seemed like a never-ending press tour about his failed relationships. In his infamous Playboy interview alone, the Grammy winner described Simpson, now 41, as sexual napalm, copped to sleeping with four or five women during a break in his relationship with Aniston, now 53, and compared his penis to a white supremacist. But Meyer has changed his tune in recent years by owning up to his past mistakes and making a valiant effort to stay out of trouble. I'm old enough to look back on my life and go, that's probably the photo negative shot in behind the music, he told the New York Times in 2017. Coming up after the break, boom, the downfall.